Welcome back, folks. We've got a gorgeous evening out. We are not tracking any rain or snow because we are under high pressure, but our next storm system is quickly moving across the upper Mississippi Valley. Most of the rain and snow will stay just to our north. We are going to have a thin line of showers come through tomorrow around 7 o'clock when the front comes through. We also have plotted the 24-hour temperature change, and this warm air mass is coming in our direction. High tomorrow, right around 60 degrees, but notice we drop off significantly in the upper plain states, and this cold air is going to follow the front tomorrow evening. Look at the temperatures, 25 in Fargo. We have a pool of teens here in the northern Rockies that will follow the front. But look at the big temperature change, 56 in Kansas City, down to 30 in Denver. So there's definitely a front on the We have 32 in Beckley, but closer to home, our temperatures in the upper 20s in Marlinton. So we have the strong southerly wind, gust 25 miles an hour in Kansas City. And as the front gets closer, we are going to watch that high wind potential tomorrow afternoon and evening. 30 in Marlington and Summersville, 32 in Beckley, 37 in Bluefield. You'll have to scrape a little frost off the car in the morning. There will be a patch or two of fog along the river valleys, but we make leaps and strides to 59 degrees. The strongest winds after 3 o'clock, between about 3 or 4 and 9 o'clock, we will have gust 43 miles an hour in the Greenbrier Valley. 38 miles an hour along the Route 19 corridor. What that means is that you want to bring in your trash can tomorrow morning so it doesn't blow away Thursday evening. Storm system number two. Here's high pressure. That's our friend early Friday. But this storm is pretty moisture driven and it's moving due east under the Greenland block, the big high pressure across Greenland. That means as it moves in our direction, we will have cold air in place and then we will add the moisture. So let's fast forward to Friday. Most of the day is dry and then we have the slug of snow that moves through. It'll be briefly heavy early Saturday, but it pushes out very quickly. So about 95% of our weekend is dry and then we have a quiet weather pattern on Monday. Here's how much snow we are expecting. If you live in Tazewell County and Bluefield, enough to coat the ground. If you live in Oak Hill, Fayetteville, Beckley, about an inch and a half of snow, some of that being on the roads, two to three inches of snow east of Route 19, higher elevations western Greenbrier Valley, western Pocahontas County, you will end up with three to four inches of snow. So here's how it trickles down with the amounts. In Beckley, you'll see about an inch and a half, about a half of an inch in Bluefield, and Summersville will be one of the jackpot winners along Route 19 with two and a half inches of snow. So the weather impacts in terms of gusty winds, Low to medium threat between about 3 and 7 o'clock or 4 to 9, somewhere in that time frame on Thursday. We will have snowy roads and we will have some icy spots. Not going to be enough, it's not going to be a crippler by any stretch of the imagination, but it comes at night when the temperatures are dropping, so there will be a couple slippery spots with the snow and a couple icy spots just during that time frame, 2 to 8 a.m. on Saturday. That means the balance of your weekend is dry, and not too bad, temperatures will be chilly in the lower 40s. And I had a very good question on the Facebook Live I did on our Stormwatch page. Are we gonna have any freezing pipes? Should we let the faucets drip with the cold weather coming? I would say do that Saturday night into Sunday morning as temperatures drop into the upper teens. Otherwise, it's really not necessary with temperatures in the upper 20s at night. And we warm it back up next week. We are in the 50s by Wednesday. That looks so you good. Go. <laughs> and you know what? Everything kind of mellowing out by 8 a.m. on Saturday. Just sleep in it. It's like it never happened. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah, right. So if you wake up at like 9 o'clock, yeah, your driveway might be a little coated in snow. It'll look like a winter wonderland, mm -hmm. but the travel impacts will lessen as you go throughout the day on Saturday. Which is perfect. You should spend your time relaxing inside on Saturdays, <laughs> right? Yeah, I like the positive there. Um, mm -hmm. Also, in terms of the pipes, I personally am not, you know, worried about that because I'm already checked out like it's spring. So if my pipes freeze, they freeze, but I'm not letting my water drip anymore. You're going to get a hard reality check then, I got through, I'm through it. We're, I think you'll be fine. I Most places will, will be fine with temperatures in the upper teens, but that was a good question from that Facebook Absolutely. viewer. Absolutely. Always All good right. questions. Yes. Always good questions. Now we have more news, weather, and sports coming your way right after the break.